Even all, Marcus here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video. And in this video, I'm going to cover ping pong. Now, the most common kind of comment or sort of request from the community who watch my videos seems to be around what's the best ping pong game for the Oculus Go. Now, I'm not a big ping pong player. I won't profess to know all the rules to ping pong, but uh, it's interesting to see that you know the community out there. There's kind of a, a following for ping pong games, so. Let me give it a go and I'll have a look, check some out for you. So I've got four ping pong games here. I've downloaded, I've played them all, tested them, and I'll let you know what I think about them. They range from free to $7.99. And I kind of, let's go through them, kind of see whether, they're, A, they're good games, and whether they're worth your money or your time, and you know, which one's best value for money, which one should you get? So uh, let's jump into it, shall we, and take a look. So I've downloaded four ping pong games for us to take a look at. The cheapest being Ping Pong Table Tennis, which is free. And then we go up to Ping Pong VR, which is 79p. And then we go up to Ping Pong, which is £2.29, but it's on offer at the moment for £1.11. So uh, a little bit cheaper there. And then we go right up, jumping right up to £7.99 for Racket Fury Table Tennis VR. So let's start with the cheapest one, shall we? So let's go with Ping Pong Table Tennis. And straight away, it jumps straight into the game. No messing, no loading screens, no nothing. And we find ourselves in a very loud, let's turn that down a bit, shall we? <laughs> uh, living room. And it's clearly a Gear VR game because you control the cursor with your head. You don't actually press the trigger, you actually press the uh, touchpad. So you can choose different tables by buying coins. There's no actual sort of in-game app purchases. So there's no sort of in-game coins to actually buy. You actually earn them from playing. So play the game for more. So if we go back and have a quick go, let's do it on easy. Let's do Great Britain versus the USA. We don't play on the TV, we can play here. So literally we move the controller back and forth to move the bat to kind of cover it. There's no sort of trick shots, there's no special abilities, there's no there's no kind of control. It's literally kind of like a game of Pong rather than anything else. And I find when playing this that I do struggle to kind of hit it exactly where I want it to sort of thing. Quite often, it's literally just a case of just hitting it like there, it hit the net. I couldn't do anything about that. I couldn't hit it any harder. Couldn't hit it any softer. Uh, oh, I did. I did. I'm trying to press the the touchpad to see if I can hit it any harder, but look, there you go. Hit the net again, even though I hit it. So there you go. Serving is just literally swiping across it, and that's it. So not the best ping pong game, but it's free, so it doesn't cost you anything. You know, if you want a cheap, free ping pong game that doesn't contain any multiplayer, it just what it is, what it is. Then this one's for you. You know. Let's uh, check out a different one, shall we? All right, straight on to the 79p Ping Pong VR. And here we are in the game. Once again, it's a Gear VR game, so I'm using my head to kind of select things. So, new game. Got difficulty settings over here. So, novice, easy, medium, veteran, and god. He's not gonna try that. Uh, single player and LAN. WAN, which is obviously online, doesn't seem to work. It's all greyed out, so there's no option to be able to play online but you can play LAN, so I'd be interested to sort of see if I had another one on the uh, the old connection here, if that would work. But I only have the one Oculus Go. There's an option to reduce the settings, the graphic quality, but you know. Uh, but let's play a quick game, shall we? So, new game. So, serve, and literally, this one's, this one's an interesting one. You still use your head to control the racket, but you actually gotta put your head where the where the little targeter appears. It's an odd one. Obviously a Gear VR game, there's no sort of buttons or abilities or anything like that. Uh, but for 79p, it's an interesting table tennis game. At least you kind of don't seem to be able to get it hit the net like on the other one. The other one literally was limited and you couldn't do anything. But this one seems pretty good. You can kind of get a rally going. If you kind of get into the zone, it's... Uh, a little bit addictive, but then you're just playing against the AI, there's not much to it, you know, it kind of is what it is. There's nothing to unlock like the other game, at least you kind of had in the other game, you had new new rackets and 
uh, tables and stuff to to unlock. Sorry, paddles, not rackets. Uh, but this is all it is. So you just play to to ten or whatever it is, and then uh, win or lose. But it's you know it took a little while to kind of get used to. Oh, around here, you can't change the environment or anything, but you can surf by kind of looking and see where it's going to bounce. But you're just basically playing a game of look at the target. So not the most uh, exciting table tennis game. But let's move on to the next one, shall we? Let's move on to table tennis game number three. Now we move on to ping pong. So literally, that's just all it's called. No tagline, no nothing, no big it up. It is what it is. And that's a nice 3D uh, intro there. That's pretty cool. Uh, and this one clearly has more options. So for your, how much is this one? This one is £2.29 or £1.11 at the moment, as I say. Uh, and you get some more options. So you get some uh, championships that you can play in. You've got some single play, you've got some multiplayer, you can change your avatar. Funnily enough, there's clearly some uh, copyright stuff going on here. So you can be uh, Batman, Slimer, uh, Catwoman, <laughs> so an Iron Man, and even Santa Claus. Obviously you unlock those through playing the game. Uh, Oh, did I just do that? But you can can spend in-game money to get gold. So you earn gold from playing, but you can get it for through spending more money. So it does have in-app purchases. But this one, you do actually get a full controller. So it's one that supports the controller. And you can obviously customize your racket, sorry, your bat, your paddle, um, and you can customize your head. And why Santa now? Did I choose Santa? There we go, I chose Santa. You do have multiplayer. I did try to play multiplayer, but it just went on for ages and no one came on. None of my friends here have uh, joined yet, so I haven't had much to try. But it does have multiplayer options, which is good. So if you go back, single player game, you can choose between classic, which is just like normal ping pong, or hero. So depending on which face or avatar you chose, you get special abilities. So let's quickly play one of those. So it's kind of, you see the kind of best part of both sides really. It does look for an online opponent for you while you're playing. Look. So it's literally a flat bat. Ugh. And she's clearly got like a bat ability. And well, my ability turns her bracket, her, um, her battle into a, into a sock. But you can hold the trigger on this one to power up a shot. Or you press, oh, or you press uh, the touchpad to do your special ability. Boing. And there you go, turn them into a sock. And I've got extra balls. I don't think there's kind of any sort of whacking type thing. You literally kind of pull the trigger back to kind of, ah, oh, get those bats, get them right in my face. So there's a bit more variety to this game. Also, I'm not sure where the copyright lies with all these uh, copyrighted uh, game, um, characters and stuff. But uh, where is it? Oh. Oh, I just made my bat small. I keep calling this uh, paddle a bat. I'm going to get called out for that, aren't I? Your ping pong enthusiasts are going to destroy me for that. But, uh, oh, wow, I'm just getting destroyed here. You've got some music going on. Um, hopefully it's not copyrighted, it's not going to get me in trouble. Oh, 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 God, there's bats sting me every time. Destroyed me, 10 nil. And you actually get health in that one as well. So uh, <laughs> the new bot beat me. Uh, what sort of options do we get? English, music, and you can kind of choose some sort of surroundings. So you don't have to pay extra or unlock these. These are just kind of available. <laughs> Chicken coop. That's pretty cool. What's this? Someone. This is someone's living room. Uh, try the new unique avatars just now. Try unique rackets. Championship is over, so it looks like there's championships that go on at some point, and you can level yourself up and win some gold. Uh, so it's worth keeping an eye on that because I don't think a lot of people from looking at it play it. So uh, it'd be interesting to keep an eye out for that. But there you go. So this is quite a good one for what was this? Two pound twenty-nine. So this is a reasonably cheap one, but at least you get online and you get the kind of normal gameplay and special abilities sort of thing so you know it's kind of interesting and it looks quite good as well it's nice and crisp text is good everything looks nice and sharp still very cartoony looking mine but uh yeah thumbs up for me yeah it looks pretty cool so 
So let's try the fourth and final ping pong game. So finally we have Racket Fury. So this one's calling it a racket, even though it's a paddle, isn't it? Yeah, see, you know, even this game is doing it. But this one's made with Unity, so it's meant to have better graphics. And I'll sort of give my opinion on that once we load in. So here we go, we've got our avatar on the right here. So this is who we are. I've unlocked some new arms for him already. You can change these around in the, the workshop here and choose body types and masks and armor and armlet and you know, all that sort of stuff. Settings, basic, you can kind of see your FPS, so you can kind of see it going up and down, depending on where you look. Sound, you can sort of tweak sort of the paddle settings, so at least you can kind of go left-handed if you want to, uh, and what sort of grip you want to use. Uh, and then game stuff is kind of pretty pretty basic, so I think you change the ball color on that. But interestingly enough, every time you click the button, the trigger, you get a ball pop up out of your racket, out of your uh, paddle. So you can play a little bit of game of uh, keep you uppy. Oh no, 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 I'm clearly not very good at this. Oh, and while playing keepy uppy with a ping pong ball, the game crashed on me. So that's the first one of these games that's actually crashed on me. And I clearly wasn't doing anything that exciting. So, uh, you know, one to consider. I mean, there's many reasons why it could have crashed. So maybe we'll give it the benefit of the doubt. But now we've got to wait for it to load up again. Fun times. And here we are. Okay, we're back in. Uh, so in this one, there is only single player. So literally you've got championship, which is four different sort of championship tournaments with four different robots of increasing difficulty in them. So you can still see a ping pong ball keeps popping up every time I click. But uh, let's do the second one. So I've done the first one already. And hello. So it does look better. I mean, the graphics are quite good. The, the text in the menu was a bit limited. But what I would say for this one is you feel like you've got a bit more sort of control over your over your over your paddle. I couldn't think of what the word was. So you can kind of you can kind of get a bit of spin on it and kind of get a bit more of a a move to it. It does kind of like teleport you around the table, depending on where the robot or your opponent's going to hit it. So that's a little bit jarring. It's not too bad. You do get kind of used to it. But you can kind of clearly like like there. You can kind of put a little bit of spin on it if you kind of come across it a bit more oh and I just messed it up and the, the, the other opponent robot seems to be very pleased whenever I mess up ah oh. right, let's try again let's, see, let's try let's play a few see if I can get some ah uh... oh, there we go <laughs> let's go first to five see who gets to first to five first and then, and then we'll uh... oh and I'll just give him one point straight away Uh, even though you've only got loves, obviously the three degrees of freedom, it still kind of feels like you kind of get something from it from moving to the side to do it sort of thing. Uh, so there you go. Well, the robot's won. I'll see. I'm terrible at this. Whoa, oh yeah, slam dunk. But there you go. So we're kind of in a space void. You've got your hand, and you do have full sort of movement of it. If you click the uh, touchpad, you get the menu come up, so you can resume, restart settings or main menu so if you jump back to main menu you've beat me mate you've beat me can i go back to the main menu oh there you go you'll press the trigger uh so there you go that's kind of racket fury so uh i think technically the better ping pong straightforward ping pong game but there's no multiplayer which is a real shame i think but the kind of the physics and the kind of how you control your racket is definitely better i mean it looks quite good um, as i say some of the text in the kind of the menu is a bit sort of pixelated a bit, a bit hard to read like here but uh for the most part i mean he looks quite smart and uh we're not in the most exciting of a arena here but uh you know plays well there's no sort of uh well, there's customization of your so your player but no sort of racket customization or arena customization or even your um table tennis uh sort of table uh but you know it's uh for 7.99 hmm let's uh Get out of this and uh, let me give you my final view on the four different games. Okay, first we have Ping Pong Table Tennis. Obviously started off with that TV screen, you move to a very basic table and as I say, you kind of move the uh, controller to kind of position where the bat is, but you can't really control the shot in any way. It's literally just almost just like Pong. Uh, there's less kind of ping, more Pong. Uh, so, but it's free. It's free if you want a table tennis game. It's not terrible, it's clearly made for the Gear VR, but you know. 
but that would be my, it definitely would rank the lowest on my list. Second up, we had Ping Pong VR, which is the one where you saw them kind of like on the beach. And once again, it was a gear VR game where you kind of had to use your head to kind of look at the targets as it appeared. Now that was a little bit better. You kind of you didn't feel like you kind of were being cheated out of shots. It was definitely a bit more ping and pong. Uh, so it worked a bit better. There's a bit more to it. Uh, there was not really like customization. The online stuff didn't work. It did have a LAN option, which was interesting. Uh, but then it was only 79p. So, you know, it's a cheap one and it's probably a nice little step up from the free one. And for 79p, I don't think you can really argue. Is it the best ping pong game here? No. But it's a decent game, and for 79p, you know, it's the price of you know a pack of chewing gum. It's uh, dirt cheap. Then we probably stepped it up, and probably the biggest change from the other two, we went on to ping pong. Now that one was quite good. You had the avatars that you could kind of choose from that had special abilities. You could play normal ping pong as well, but I think kind of this one, having the abilities and sort of the uh, multiplayer option as well, although when I tried to queue up for a multiplayer game, I never got one. I queued for like 10, 15 minutes at one point when I tried to play yesterday. Um, but it's good. I mean, you get sort of a bit more control. You've got special abilities by using the uh, touchpad. You can actually hit a bit harder if you use the trigger. So there's a def definitely a bit more sort of finesse to playing than the other two games. The other two are very much basic, kind of literally hit back and forth. This one's got a bit more play to it. Um, and it's a bit more fun. It definitely looks a bit better, plays a bit better. It's got in-app purchases, which is a big shame. I think if it didn't have in-app purchases, I probably would rank it a little bit higher. But saying that, when comparing it to the 799 Racket Fury, I would probably say it's almost a better game. There's a lot more content there, a lot more stuff to play for. Obviously with it having multiplayer, it kind of extends the life. And if I kind of get some of my uh, Oculus Go friends on, I'd definitely be playing some of that with them. I think it'd be quite a little bit of a giggle to play that, and maybe I'll do it on a, on a future stream. So keep an eye off that. So moving on to Racket Fury, it's 7 dollars so it's like, you know, four times the price, pretty much, of uh, the previous game. Um, is it four times the game? No. Does it look better? Yes. Do you have a bit more control? Absolutely. And actually, I think it probably plays the best kind of ping pong game because you get the full sort of movement of the racket. You can kind of slice it and kind of put a bit of spin on it and kind of hit it from different angles and kind of get a real sort of, you know, proper control over the ball, which you don't get with the other games. Uh, but then the content itself is very limited. You do get, obviously, ever progressing harder robots to face off against. For me, there's no motivation to keep playing. I think if it had some form of multiplayer, it'd be quite good, but then how would it handle the kind of teleporting to put you in the right position? Um, yeah, interesting. The ping pong game, you could actually move yourself backwards and forwards away from the table, whereas this one, you can't actually control that at all. So that's an interesting one to consider, because I kind of feel that sometimes you can pull yourself away to kind of get a bit more of a, you know, a view on it. It might be a bit more comfortable because it's a bit sort of hectic. So to summarise, I would probably give my thumbs up to the ping pong game. So the £2.29 game, I think sort of value for money is really good there. There's a lot of content. If online works, it's going to be even better. And it's, there's a reason to keep playing. I mean, definitely, if you can play online against friends, that for me, that would be a motivation to keep coming back to it, to play some, and then, as I say, maybe stream some good good fun. The free game is a free game. You can't really blame that. 79 p for the other one, for uh, 79 p again. But 7 99 for Racket Fury is good. But for 7 99 I kind of expect something better. I mean, there are games up there for 7 99 that have a lot more sort of developed content. But maybe there's more coming to Racket Fury. Hopefully there is. I really, really hope there is more content coming to it and it kind of develops into a fuller game. But I'll keep an eye on it and I'll let you know if there is any updates to it and maybe I'll do a standalone review in the future. But for now, ping pong gets the remarkable thumbs up. All right, that's the end of that video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I'm big enough and I'm gonna have to take it if you didn't like it. But do let me know in the comments down below the reason why you didn't like it and I'll try and do better for next time. Become one of the remarkables and hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you know when the next upload a video. Right, that's me done. I'm out, a virtual high five.